Frustrations about the economy and the concern of government overreach. Part of what led to this protest last Friday in front of the Idaho State House. Idaho Freedom Foundation helped organize the Disobey Idaho protest, saying the time for disobedience is now, with too many small businesses on the verge of collapse. Some may call this group the vocal minority, but their opinions are shared by many, including some of our own politicians, like Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan, who wrote a letter to Governor Little on Friday urging him to commit to fully reopening our state no later than May 1st. McGeehan says she agrees that, quote, we need to do all that we can to protect our frontline workers, end quote, but goes on to say, I have never been supportive of forced closures as such closures are economically devastating and have already caused some businesses to shutter for good. This is the time for bold and decisive leadership, she went on. Idahoans have been plagued with uncertainty and ambiguity, ambiguity, excuse me, for too long. And now we have, or we need, I should say, decisions and dates on which we can rely. Well, we reached out to governor, the governor and lieutenant governor for both of them to give us some comment on this. We heard back from lieutenant governor. She declined our interview request, saying her time is fully occupied working for the people of Idaho, but she reiterated her stance, telling us that protecting the health and safety of Idahoans does not require continuing to sabotage our economy.